What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077, episode 27. Let's wait for Rogue to be ready. Just chilling at the bar. All that weird stuff going on. Waited a whole day there, apparently. She said, come back tomorrow. Here to see Rogue. Expecting me. Hey, Rogue. I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Yeah, get out of my way. Sit down. Alright, I'll do it. Hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Thanks. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. What we got? Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold-ass bitch. But she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Let's see what you got. Your Hellman's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Must be prepping them for a transfer. How would you know? Chinese Corpo playbook's an open one to me. This looks like the old vanishing pigeon. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. Data's all confidential. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. I know where to look, and I know whose head to put in a vice. Also, hate wasting time, especially answering stupid questions. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. What kind of gear are we talking? Cruising speed of an AV like that's 250 miles an hour. Ever tried to grab anything moving that fast? Even tracking her will be difficult. Plus, this model packs next-gen defenses. Without real firepower, I'll be able to wave to Hellman as he zips past. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them, or who can at least improvise on a theme. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore. But she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her and not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Navin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Strange. Thought nomads gave the city 
and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Aldecaldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Why's Pan Am got to help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. You know, but wouldn't tell Pan Am. Aim to play cat and mouse with me too? My aim is to know an opportunity when I see one, and then to seize it. Say I told her everything. What do you think she'd have done? Grabbed her iron and gone on the warpath, that's what. Not hard to see how that could end it. And there's nothing I hate more than losing good people to plain stupidity. Huh. I'm her only chance, and she's my only chance. Two pawns on rogue's board. You're quick. For a pawn. No fee. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, finally. All clear. Let's get out of Thanks. here. Alright, John. Good luck. Come on. Let's go, bud. All right, Pan Am. <coughs> Gonna puke. Hello. Hey, Pan Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old warbirds want to kick me now? This thing between you and Rogue. Couldn't care less. Got a job for you. But I'm overextended at the moment. With the merch and your car? Getting them back? I can help with that. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. I'll be back for you. I want to do this quest. <laughs> you know what actually gave me this quest? Doing what? A business opportunity. Cargo transport. Get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? You ought to run this by a fixer first. Fuck the middleman. They're cash drained. Attitude like that won't get you far in this line of work. I don't need a consultant. I need a transporter. Will you do it or not? I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Yeah. Everything except my pay. Don't worry. There's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty-free. Duty-free and detail-free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? Yeah, sure, I'm in. Good, I knew we'd find acceptable terms. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, no future. Once you locate it, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instruction. Till then, I guess. All right. I just wanted to grab that quest so we wouldn't have to come down here again to grab it later, I guess. And if the quest was to be completed down here, I'd have totally just done it. But that's not the case. Alright, get me out of here. We gotta go meet with Panam. Can I run yet? Thank you. Jeez. Not letting me run. I don't like it. My bike! Let's go meet with Miss Panam. skirt dang it she's far away that's all right we'll get over there eventually and i'm enjoying the game story and stuff i really am i just i wish the glitches weren't so bad man it'd just make this game a million times better wouldn't it if this game didn't have as many glitches in it as many bugs but even with them all like it's still a great game which is saying something i mean a game to have that much stuff wrong with it oh, what's up taki you do not think she will betray us? She doesn't charm you anymore, having doubts? 
You only have to look at her. A venomous spider weaving. Let's keep it weird to disdain for a shotgun. She, you text way too fast. Maybe she wants to spare two rats on a stick. VM Kabuki, I have two questions. How can anyone call this filthy slum Kabuki? Kabuki's form of art. I'll let you know shortly. Let me know if I can be of any help. I may take you up on that. For now, I'm Angela. The time will come. Good to know, bud. You're, 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 you're an odd one with your text, and you text extremely quickly, but hey. He's got that text speech like super fast, though, and it's really good at reading what he says. That's why he texts so fast. People don't use their fingers to text anymore, so it's much quicker. That's my theory, at least. Yeah, this is what we like. Just hauling on this open area. Whoa, we're driving here. And yeah, I know there's probably a green or a red light there for me, but whatever. Whoa, okay, calm down. Come on, recover. You're good. You're good. Don't get sideswiped. Easy peasy. Oh, yes. I like going fast. That was fun. That was fun. We went up to like 180 miles per hour there. Hey, I don't think I know you. I'm Claire. You might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife. What's up, Claire? Uh oh. Forgot to close my tab. Far as a buzz about you lately. It's the Merc who's reliable, gets things done. And since I need help. Okay. Need a driver for street races. Drop by my auto shop. I'll tell you more. Heck yes. It's your garage. Where is he? In Arroyo, Fern Valley. Lovely spot, can't miss it. Alright, I'll try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay, see you, Claire. More, okay. Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you Big. See, no introductions necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. Eat, sleep, and breathe, Biz. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes? I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? I hear, bud. I hear. But voice. Oh, well, another thing. If you want to come size me up, look me up, whatever, swing by. Scanned it, right? We're good? It's all scanned? Said I scanned it. I'm gonna say we're good. Alright, Pan Am, what's up? Hey. Pan Am? So you're a V. Where's my car? Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. We can help each other. Rogue said so. I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. You go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Want to know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamn mind? About you or the job. Kang Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. <laughs> but if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Thought this was mostly about the merch. Fuck the merch. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, 
goods are there. Nash, you dirty eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, a chum of yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. Shift tricked me. Straight nipped my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Oh, do we? Wanna tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drug. Buzz, hey. Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Buzz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Buzz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Who the hell's Boz? Won't cause us any grief, I hope. Boz is a stand-up guy. Six straight. You drive for gangoons. Is that not allowed? Straight punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. So, where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Any chance they might help us in Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. You're an angry person. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. Good, let's roll. Get vroom, it. vroom. Let's do this. Take me to where we're going. To your leader, perhaps. Take me to your leader. Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. Is that a problem? For me? No, not at all. I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Screw you. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the nine and head east. How the hell'd you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Guess you'll have to ask her yourself. Oh, I'll be sure to. I'll especially ask why she told me to work with Nash, yet forgot to mention he was Raffin. Wait, Nash is Raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. You know about them, right? Mm hmm. Nomads tossed out of clans. Yes. Mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. They gather in teams. Sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. More glitches Just disappearing up there. All right, well, skip the ride off to the nomad camp. We go. Well, 
would you look what the cat dragged in? Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Not a babysitter. Partner in crime. Mm hmm. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. His plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But, but Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Thanks, guys. I can look at those generators for you if you'd like. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm -hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not better for you, jeez. I didn't wanna, didn't wanna do that, I just wanted to read that, thank you. Yeah, I'm-, I'm are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Sup? Everybody knows Pan Am. Have you fixed her out here? New? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. <laughs> so yeah, shut up. No, I just want, I just want this. If you don't mind. there we go. Easy peasy. Okay, I'll grab this. Will you help me with this? Yeah, I'll help you with it. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. One second, one second. I got things to read. Alright. One second. Oh, the scam alert. Oh no. What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. Alright, that's everything. Nope. I wanted to stand up. Still want to stand up. There Did we you go. Figure out your differences with soul. Will you come back? She ain't talking to you right now. We busy. We too busy for the likes of y'all. Pan Am, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. She promises. I mean, wait. No, we're looking up here. Sorry, my bad. <clears throat> Why well, I gotta carry their big heavy thing and you got their... So, I bet the rifle's heavy, too. I'm off. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. I mean, if you insist. I'll do that right now. I mean, I can look at those generators for you, if you guys. Like, I'm pretty good with technical stuff. Probably, probably fix them up real quick. We can go. Hop in. No, no. Okay, well, I tried. So, Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. You hear it. What's that? 
The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Well. Guess we talked about all we can talk about there. Let's continue on. Okay. We have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins. And we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. All right, one second. I got to scout first to look for anything that might be useful. Oh, I got this looks useful. All right, so scan devices in the area. I'll do it. Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything's down. Nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. Ho, ho, ho. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. Let's do it. You slow. Let's run. Scan the power source. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Come down. Right, so, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? Okay. The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Got it. Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them. Then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try to play a little game with them at the intersection. Hell yes. Perfect. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First, we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. Okay, I'll do it. I will wait for you by the said substation. Be a little quicker on the zooming there, though. Vroom, vroom, let's go. Very empty out here compared to the city. Much different life. Oh, there she is. Welcome. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Okie dokie. Will do. Grab all this stuff. Connect. Red cable connected. Positive. Give cable. me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. Hurry up. And done. Now the black rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. All right. I'll set up on the tower. 
We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to do for this episode of Cyberpunk 2077. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. It helps me out a ton. What the heck? <laughs> How did I get over here? Well, I'm going to get back over here and get inside first. But what the hell was that? Just break the glass and dive in. I That's tried. Someone will send you a bill. I tried. I got launched across the desert when I did it, okay? Jesus. All right, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. If you got anything to say, go to the comments. One, if you haven't yet, hit the subscription button. The bell helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.